Hello people, thanks for joining me. Uh, just want to go over some stuff some people have been asking how to get Facebook Live on their streams so when they're doing streaming for PlayStation 4. It's a little bit awkward to show you exactly what's going on here because whenever I try to do the egg split and show you the egg split, if I try to show you the direct capture of that, it does that weird thing where you get the picture and picture and picture and picture and it goes on forever for infinity. So I can't do that unfortunately. What I can do is I can show you from here that this here is my egg split here. So you can see it running and I can see like on YouTube live I've got this here. So I can see your comments or if you guys are talking or anything. So ask me anything in there and I'll do my best to explain what's going on. As you can see in the corner here, that's the actual uh, uh, the PlayStation 4. That's it streaming uh, and it's in the background. If I switch to it, for instance, like with me in the corner there, so you can see if I push right, left, right, left, right, left, down, I mean, I can, I can go down and I can check that. So you can see that's definitely me capturing my, uh, my PlayStation 4. I keep on going to say Xbox One. That's definitely capturing my PlayStation 4. That's actually on behind the camera, you can't see that just now, I'm just going back to the main screen just now. Uh, just want to tell you how I capture this. Now you can do this, you can't do this through HDCP, which is a bloody nightmare because the games and everything work fine, but you can't show anything like the YouTube 1.09. Now I did check that between my two accounts, I've got an American account and a UK account, and I checked to see if the update was there for the 1.09, can't find it at all. It's not showing any updates on the US or the UK account, so I'm not sure what's happening with that. I know some people have got it. I did actually want to, uh, to actually go into and find the update and do the update so you guys could see the update, but it's still not giving me it either. So I, I honestly do not know why some people are getting this update and some people aren't. It's a bit frustrating, to be honest. But saying that, it's impossible to stream that content anyway, so you wouldn't be able to show it because it does that HTCP for things like Netflix, YouTube, uh, Amazon and stuff like that. So it's a bit annoying. But anyway, on this here, this is the PlayStation 4, like I said, streaming. Now, this is what I'm using just now to tell you what, like my setup, what I'm going through. And I know some of you are probably just want to stream to Facebook Live and get it nice and easy, as cheap as possible. This is what I've been using for a long time here now, the last two years in the studio. This is what we use for Games Lounge and for Small Fry Unified videos. And I'm just going to tell you some of the stuff I've got. It's not actually that dear. You can buy some of this stuff secondhand on eBay or Amazon. So I'll go and check for that. The first thing I want to say is I've got, right now is I've got this here. This is the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme GC550. This is a media capture card. I can't show you the actual box it's plugged in just now. That's what's capturing the PlayStation 4. But this here is a really good high definition capture card. Can't do anything like 4K or anything like that, but it can do 1080p and it's just really simple. So you basically, on the back of it, it's got a connection for your HDMI in, a connection for HDMI out, and it uses USB 3, so you need to have a 3.0 USB port on your PC or your Mac. I'm using this on a Mac, as you can see, but I've actually got this running Windows 10, so I'm running through Windows right now. but. You basically plug from your PlayStation 4, this is, a, this is as simple as it gets. You run from your PlayStation 4, your HDMI, or from your PlayStation VR social media box. You basically take the HDMI and plug that straight into the back of the Aver Media port, the HDMI in, and then you have an HDMI out, which goes back to your TV or back to the TV input uh, on your media hi-fi box, whatever you've got. So I've got a a box that connects up to the TV, so I put it into the back of that. So that's how you set up, simple as that. Then you've got a USB 3 that comes from the back of the Ever Media box, and it goes into your PC or your or your Mac, and that's what gets you your signal. Like I said, it's non-HDCP content, so games and everything are fine, there's not any of the video services. And yes, you plug that in, and then I'm using XSplit, you can use OBS, uh, I've not used OBS for a while, I presume they've updated that I've used o OBS in the past where it just picks up your settings. I, I used to use the same card, the same capture card uh, for OBS so I know it works with that and I'm going to hope that they've got Facebook Live set up in it. 
Now going from egg split, what I can tell you is egg split definitely does have it. So what I'll do is, I'm actually going to zoom in the camera a little bit and I'll show you it's a little bit closer, this screen here. So you'll see me in the background and stuff like that. It's going to be like a, a picture and picture and picture, but it just gives you a little bit more of an idea. I'll actually extend the size of this box so you can see this. Uh, so that's a little bit better, hopefully. Uh, it's probably a little bit bright, so let me just change the exposure for you. I'm just going to zoom in here as well so you can see this. So yeah, we're getting the... We're getting the picture in picture as well, but you'll get a rough idea, hopefully, of what it's like. Uh, let me just see if I can change the exposure on this. One second. I've got it really bright, so. There we go. It's a little bit rubbishy colour, but at least that gives you a little bit more of a an idea of what it's like. So. Let me just see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, so you can see the fuel. This is the actual main box. So I'll be off camera here. So this is the main box here. Like I've got here. So this is the main box here for X split. I was minimizing these windows so you can only see that. So yeah, this is my X, X split window. I've just scaled it to full size 1080p 60 frames per second. I've got running through here. But you'll see up in the top here is the options. If you just go into Outputs, it's got Facebook Live. Now, as far as I recall, you had to choose that as one of the extensions for XSplit. So once you install it, it's one of the extensions. If you go into Extensions and go to Get More Extensions, it'll bring up this box and you can search for it. So you can search there and search for Facebook. It should come up. Um, let me just see if I show sources. Facebook. I'm pretty sure it's in there. Maybe it's not. Uh, let me just check the Facebook or Facebook Live. I think it's actually possibly even built into now. It does say it's installed, so I'm going to say search for it and install it, but it's as simple as that. Once you install it, you've then got access, just like you would with YouTube or Twitch, and you can set other ones up as well. So, for instance, I've got Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Live. You can do local recordings. You can do a couple of other ones as well. There's... Uh, Vidju, I think it is, and a couple of other ones, streaming services that people might use. But for the Facebook Live one, once it's in there and you've got it installed, it's pretty simple to set up. You just go into the little gear icon at the side, and I'll bring up the settings. Seems to have vanished there. One second. There so, once you set up your event in Facebook, you can go and create an event, or you can post it to your wall, and it will go straight to your main wall. So you can either post it to the main wall, or you can set up an event and schedule that event. Once you've done that, once you've authorised Facebook Live, you'll be able to do the drop down menu and select which one you want to use. So whether it's the live event or it's the wall. And when you select it, you should see your event there. Or if you just post to your wall, it'll just go straight to the wall. And you can set your tags, you can set your description. However, it will pick all that up from your actual event itself. The tags, I, I normally add to the tags, so it picks up and you can get that. Uh, I've not actually used Facebook Live much for this, by the way. I use Twitch and YouTube, but I, I have used this, so I'm just explaining a little bit. But once you've set this up, it can test the bandwidth, so it selects the best uh, band, bit rate to have for your video, so you get the best quality video. Set that to whatever your, obviously your card is. It's something like 80% of what your upload download speed is. Uh, so check those and set it to 80% of your upload speed. That's what you want. Uh, I've got this one set to 2600 uh, bit rate, which I can actually do way more, I can do about 9000 or something. But when I'm normally streaming, I split it between Twitch and YouTube. So, yeah, once you've added that in, you just go to output. Once you click on that, it'll then connect up and it'll start your stream on Facebook Live. It's as simple as that, that's it. And then you'll be streaming live on Facebook. Now, I've tested this with a couple of the streams for our game stuff. I'm just going to go back to. Uh, let me just. Take this off, I'll go back to normal view. One second. Let me just minimize this. Eee, that's better. Let's see if any of you guys are commenting in the window. One second. Oops, probably have actually picked the window properly. So, yeah, it's it's quite simple. The Aver Media Live Gamer Extreme, you can pick this up. I think I picked this up at the time for about it was about £130, but 
but you'll be able to get much cheaper now. When I bought it as well, it came with three months free XSplit premium license. So you can check out XSplit, set up all your stuff and see if you like it. If you enjoy it, then you can go ahead and extend your license. Uh, I've now got a lifetime license, so I can use it forever, essentially. Uh, but it cost me like something like £70 or something in total. That was like, a, 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 like a, an option. In the box, it does come with a USB 3 cable. That's what I've got connected up just now. I'm just going to zoom this out again, sorry, one second. Whoops. That's better. Let me just focus this again. Let me set that eyes a little bit better because it's a bit dull. There you go. Uh, yeah, it comes with a USB 3. Uh, it's got 3.5 mil audio cable. Now you can plug in your microphone and your headsets to this. I don't do that. However, I use you like an expert. You can check uh, and see where your your content, your sound, and everything things coming from. And I use a wireless mic, so I've got this lapel mic here that I use for our audio, so that just goes into a completely separate, uh, it comes from the camera in fact, so I've got my audio box going into the camera and from there I run that through another HDMI that goes through um, Ultra Studio, Blackmagic Ultra Studio mini recorder and that brings in the footage and the audio from my sim recorder, so that's fine. So that picks it on there and get that all connected up. But you can connect up microphones and everything. Actually, it comes with its own software as well. It comes with, um, I forgot what it's called now. It comes with software as part of this. Can we tell us about it? Let me just see. Yeah, Rec Central or RE Central 2. And that's got stuff that you can stream from there. So that's got pre-made templates. It's got the settings and everything. I'll kind of configure it for you. I didn't use that because I've got XSplit, I prefer XSplit myself, it's a little bit more uh, customizable. I can set stuff, so I set my own overlays and graphics and everything, so that's what I'm using here, so I've created those all myself. But yeah, you can connect it up. Other cables, it comes with a component cable, and it comes with a component to PlayStation 3 cable. So you've got all that stuff there, and you can change the little image on the top of it. It's, it's actually quite, quite a cool little box, you can see it's got a little funny thing there. But anyway, that's like one of the really cool things I've enjoyed using. Simple to set up, it says here in the box it's ultra low latency, capture 1080p 60 frames per second, uncompressed video, audio mixing, supports picture in picture and live editing. That's for their own software though. Xsplit is the one I'd probably still go for, or if you've got no money, try OBS. But if you're buying this anyway, you can obviously try Xsplit because it comes with three months free trial. I presume you can still get that. But that's my setup and yeah. I honestly don't know if there's a way, I know people have got ways of bypassing the HDCP where it strips it out, so I don't know if you'd be able to do YouTube stuff, if it sends out a signal, it's fine, but the way I've got it running, I don't think it works. Uh, I don't know if anyone can really bypass that without buying another box. So, I've got my stuff going into a HDMI splitter, but it doesn't actually take out the HDCP, it just allows me to plug in multiple uh, HDMI devices, so I've got the Wii U, the PlayStation 4, and well, so I had something else. I used to have my Xbox One connected up to it, and I used to have uh, the the Wii connected up to it. I had an, a HDMI converter for that, but I'm not using that now. So I had them all going into this HDMI splitter. I can just switch it, and it was a bit easier than having to keep on unplugging things, which is a total pain in the ass. But yeah, I'm just got that running over there. It's a little bit, it's about five foot away from me. Uh, I mean, I'm just sitting area, you know, play the games. This isn't an actual game area where we play the games, people. I've actually got a main area over here. I'll give you a little, a little look at it. I'll have to move this camera though, because I've got the cables plugged in. In a second. Let me see if I can show you this properly. I've got a cable plugged in for powering the audio, so I might go a bit wonky. By the way, I'm hoping you guys can hear me. I'm just assuming you can hear me. This is normally our gaming area here. A little bit blurry. <laughs> it's it's pulling because I've got like the cable plugged in. There we go. Hey, that's better. Let me just check. Let's Yeah, that's a bit better. So that's our gaming area. Uh, let me know if that has helped you at all, guys. If it has, great. 
If you've got anything else you want to ask me, fire away and ask me. And I'll do my best to answer your questions. Uh, I'm hoping the HDMI connection comes up. Sorry, the YouTube 1.09. I honestly don't know what they're doing with that. I really want to try it as well, but it's a... Uh, like obviously the only reason I'll be using it is for the, the 3D videos, the virtual reality videos. But until that's done, I'm not really using it for anything else. I normally just go through, I can use, I can stream stuff through my Wii U and that doesn't seem to have any issues, uh, which is a bit strange. So I don't know why that one works if it doesn't work with other ones. But I suppose I don't really use anything like, uh, well saying that, I've used Netflix on the Wii U. Uh, but maybe I've just not updated it for a while, so maybe that's why that one works. I don't use YouTube on it, because I think it's terrible. Uh, I find the YouTube app is garbage on the Wii U. I don't know what's like in the PlayStation 4. I've got to check that one as well, I suppose. But yeah, it's, uh, that's that. Guys, I'm going to be doing a video, by the way, for Small Fry Unify, for Small Fry Technify. That's our tech channel, that's our tech playlist. I'm going to be doing a video in the next couple of days for that one. I was going to record it tonight, but it's getting a bit late now, so I'll probably leave it for another day. But we're going to be doing another unboxing and hands-on impressions of another bit of gear. So hopefully you'll join me for that one and you'll check it out. And if you've checked out any of the other videos, check them out. Hopefully you'll like them. If you like them, let us know. Give us a comment. If you want to follow us? Cool. That's awesome. I'm not expecting people to follow us or give likes or anything like that, but it's up to yourselves. Uh, the more the better. Alright guys, I'm going to finish this off now. Take care. Ciao.